Max and I have been training together for about a year now. Started training at our, our college gym. Um, you know, it's great that it's great that we're now going to the same gym. I find bodybuilding, or you know, the sport of bodybuilding, or the life lifestyle, whatever you want to call it, is is definitely uh, a you against yourself scenario. Uh, the only other sport you can kind of see this in, in my opinion, would be golf. Um, and in both sports, obviously, you know you have you have opponents, other competitors. But when it when it comes down to it, when it all boils down, it's uh, definitely you against yourself. A training partner can really help you with with pushing pushing yourself past your boundaries. I know that it's so easy to to kind of you know, go easy on yourself when you're training by yourself, you know, um, your legs are aching, so you, you know, you, you skip out in squats, you do, you do the hack squat instead, or, or, um, you know, you, you throw in one movement for biceps, um, because you're, you know, you're sore. These kind of things are where a good training partner really comes into play or just having someone else there in general. You know, it's the difference between getting six reps when you usually get five reps. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Up, oh, come on. Easy. Let's go. Push through. Up. Oh, come on. One more. Let's go. Up. Oh. Nice. Bodybuilding definitely tells you a lot about yourself. You know, it it shows how hard it really is to to work hard and to dedicate your life to this, despite all the obstacles that come. Um, you know, I feel so many people fall off the wagon because you know because of being busy you know wh whether it's work school uh, relationships things like that I mean and I know how easy it is to to kind of fall off and and you know like I mean I, kn I know exactly what it's like you know the, if you work a, an eight-hour day or you know you're at school all day or whatever the last thing you want to do is you know, when, once you've gotten home, the last thing you want to do is go to the gym and exert all your energy in a, you know, on a squat and hurt, and have your back ache and your your glutes and your legs on fire, you know, things like this. That's the last thing you want. I know how easy it is to, to skip out on it. It is. I mean, normally when I get home and stuff, I just want to sit on the couch, but this is what, you know, it shows you, shows yourself just what kind of dedication you can have and and you know it takes so much discipline it's definitely it's definitely an eye-opener in that sense um, you know I can remember when I was prepping for my first show uh, I was I worked every morning at four in the morning 
at my old job. Uh, it was a labor job as well. Uh, very, very tiring. Um, I had school, you know, three classes. I think it was three classes I was taking as well. You know, sometimes I was even working six days a week. And, you know, on top of that, cooking all my meals, eating, that was the biggest thing. It took a lot out of me even to just eat all the stuff that I made. And then, you know, obviously the gym and, and balancing all of that while, you know, with a girlfriend and friends and things like that. Definitely, definitely hard, hard work and uh, humbling as well, though. You know, it's, I could have just gave up and, you know, said something's got to give here. You know, I could have quit my job, I could have quit my prep, you know, anything. But, you know, you find how resilient the human body is and definitely shows yourself how how hard you're willing to push and that's what I feel that fitness and what we do is, is definitely you know it's definitely a reflection of that in in what we do that's why you don't see you know 99% of the population do what we do is because it's hard and it takes a lot it takes it takes a strong will as well Easy way, man. Come on. Come on. Uh. Uh. Yep. Come on. Eight to ten, let's go. Go. Two more. One more, man. Come on. 
that's something that I, I used to tell myself that whole time I was going through everything, going through all that. I would tell myself every day, no matter how hard you're working, someone out there is working harder than you. And that's something I think that, you know, it's a good message to live by in, in, all, in all cylinders. I mean, think about it if you're, you know, if you're trying to start your own business, you're trying to finish school, you're trying, you know, anything like that. Someone out there is working harder than you. So you gotta push yourself that extra step. And it all ties back again with with having a, a training partner and someone someone with you. They can really give you that step to push through. You know, it's so important to be around supportive people, people that will help you push yourself and not give up your hopes and your dreams. those glutes in the top.
Come on. As soon as you're done, there's five partials. What I love and appreciate about bodybuilding the most that? is that, yeah. you know, I feel that it's it's a direct testament of, of how hard you're willing to work and about how far you're willing to go, um, you know, in any aspect of life.